So what I have here are various items that I bought from either the 99 cent store or the dollar store. And I thought I might just test them out to see what they can do. So these paints here, um, these acrylic paints made by the Momentum Brands company and made in China. Um, it says it's permanent when it's dry. So I, all they had was a blue. I already uh, tried to use this on something else and I don't remember what happened. But anyway, they had blue and yellow and orange paints in these little bottles. These are two ounce bottles of acrylic paint. And it says it's supposed to be permanent when it's dry. Now these I bought at uh, Dollar Tree and these also say that they're acrylic paint and made by I guess a company called Jot um, and they are made in China but distributed in it looks like Canada so they're imported from China so um, these are one and a half ounces of acrylic paint so I got yellow blue and red so if you were like really really on a budget and you wanted to paint I wanted to see if this stuff would kind of work although I don't know for one ounces because this is four ounces so that's almost it's about three and a half times as much for not that much more money to get the real acrylic so I don't know how but if you, you just have a few dollars and you want to do a project, let's see how well this will really work. These are tempura paints, which are water-based. They're not acrylic. Uh, I think tempura works more like watercolor than acrylic paints, but we'll see. But they didn't have any black or white in the acrylic, so I got them in these tempura uh, paints. And let's just see how they do. Also, um, I got these little brushes. These actually are makeup brushes, but they look like they can make some interesting textures. So, so um, I bought these also for a dollar. And then they have these little, these little paint brushes, uh, detail brushes. I can already see right here that that one's not very straight. Um, they do have seem to have some bounce back on the bristles though. It has a fairly okay point. So let's see. How these work. This is um, just a piece of, I think, cardboard that I put gesso on. I think it's cardboard from a picture frame that I painted something on some time ago and then I gessoed over. So let's see. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do like a, I'm thinking. I could do kind of like a little, um, I'm sorry. I was thinking. So I'm going to try these products and I'm just going to do a little fall scene on my little piece of cardboard that's from a picture frame that I put gesso over. Let's see if we can get that in there. So we've got a little glass palette right here. Let me see if I can get that all in there. Uh, move that over a bit. Okay, so I've got a little glass palette here. But I'm going to put these paints on. So let's see. I want to do something kind of fall. So I'm going to do kind of put, there's some blue. There's some, I like to put, I like to put the warm and uh, cool colors on different sides of the palette normally, but I can't get it all in the film. So now I'm just going to put them right next to each other. So, uh-oh, uh-oh, this one, this one has a, some kind of barrier, which I don't know how you're supposed to get that off. Oops. Okay. Oh, I guess you push it out. It has kind of this barrier in there that will not let the paint come out. So let's see if I can just push it out with a... That's not small enough to go in there. What do I have? 
candy that can work for that. Let's see. Oh, I've got this little. Oh, 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 oh! I'm spilling red paint. Well, we can tell that it's pretty flowy right now. This is not fun that you can't get that thing out of there without taking this tip off, and then there's no way to hold this tube up. So let me see if I can get that kind of on my palette there. I'll wipe up the rest of it. So it's pretty fluidy. Doesn't seem to have much body. Although, you know, what do you expect for a dollar? Let me see if I have something in here that will push that out. I've got a paper clip. Hopefully a paper clip will work. Put the end of the paper clip in there. Hopefully that'll push that right out. See, it's got a little barrier thing in there. There we go. It does not come out easy. Okay, so that pushes that out. Now my hands are all red. Everybody's gonna think I've been bleeding. Oh, right. All right, so there's red. Okay, let's try the yellow in this one. In this acrylic paint, we'll try the, oh. I gotta do that too. I've gotta push the barrier out in this one. Oh, well that's interesting. This one's actually on the lid. Okay, great packaging, I can tell. Okay, let's do some yellow here. All right, so there's yellow, blue, and red. And they're, they're, they don't say the colors on them, so there's no fancy like cadmium or cobalt blue, or they're just, but it looks kind of, like it could be like a kind of an ultramarine blue. I don't know. Let's see, okay, so let's try the, this is the tempura white, I'm just going to do this, Look, there's white, it actually looks like it has more body than the acrylic paint, and here's, looks like some kind of black, whoa, okay, not that one. That came out really quick. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. This seems to be the biggest washy kind of brush I could use. This is a makeup brush. It's wet and wild. Um, so let's get a little bit of water. I'm going to try. Put this white on here and see how this goes. There looks like it's gonna. Oh, it looks like it's. I'm gonna dry too quick. Let's see. Okay, I kind of wanna coat it with some white. I need a bigger brush. This brush is very small, but I'm determined to just use the products I bought at the store. So I'm not gonna break out my better brushes. So if I'm on a budget. I want to paint. I think they had bigger paint brushes, but I didn't get any. And I want to try these paints. Now I'm going to go for some blue. Let's put a little water in there. Let's see how that mixes. Not too bad. Okay, that's going to be uh, not really covering really well. Let's see. Let's load my, this brush a little better. Let's see how that works. There we go. Still kind of picking up the white paint, kind of separating the white paint. It doesn't seem to be really mixing with it too good. I need quite a bit of water to get it to move, it looks like. Okay. I'm going to try after I put down this blue, I think, to make some clouds in the sky. Let's see what happens if we put it directly on the canvas. That's a little better. That's a little better. But it seems to more be covering it up than mixing with it. So I'm going to tell you right now, it's kind of drying really quick. 
good this would work for. Let's give it a little bit of color. Okay. Mixing, 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 mixing. So we get a little more blue right here. I like the brush, the way it feels. Okay, I think on the bottom, I'm gonna actually put some more white down here because I think I'm gonna make some water down here. That's some pretty thick white. Dude. That white is really thick um, tempura. So I'm not really sure about that. Do you kind of want the top to try it a little bit, but not this? Okay, that's good. Because I do want some reflections of the blue in here, so that'll be fine. It's kind of hard to rinse out of the brush in the water. That tempura paint. So let's see. So right now I'm gonna try and let's try a little bit of let's go for some dark trees with some blue. Let's go. Let's see what happens. It seems to kind of be a uh, bit of a purple color. That doesn't seem to be doing that. Let's see. That's a little darker than I want. Let's see. That's pretty blue. Let's try some more red. I'm gonna use two of these brushes because I want some lighter colors right here. So let's see how that works. Make it look kind of like a fall scene, I guess. That's kind of. Well, it seems to apparently still be wet, so I guess that's kind of okay. Bushes right there. I'm gonna make a little of that, that kind of a green color. Oh, there you go. A little bit of green bushes right there. It goes kind of around, even towards the bottom, so the trees are kind of bigger. And we got some bushes right there. I'll call those bushes. You know, it's not. If you were in a jam, I think these might kind of be okay. I don't know. Really hating them, not loving them. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna take. Oh, okay. 
actually have another one I forgot about. Here we go, I'm gonna use this one. Because these are all from the dollar store and I'm gonna kinda of pull this down because we want that to yeah the white didn't stay. clouds in the sky. It's a little hard with this white to get a good uh, cloud formation going there. It's kind of pulling up that other um, pain. Let's see. Well, that's kind of, you know, not bad for a pinch. Pinch, I guess. This is the little, they call it a shader brush, I guess. say you know in a pinch if you really didn't have any money and you really needed to paint something um, you know you could probably do a decent little something something there I want more you know what I want to try this orange I didn't try the orange so I guess we kind of overdo it. We overdo it with the plastic here. So let's try the orange. Okay. These are actually got some body to them, but they don't look like they have a whole lot of pigment. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, there's some pretty fall trees. Those are really pretty colors. Once that dries, it's really hard to change that, so I don't do too much on that. It looks like it's got some swirly 
stuff. Okay, so we're gonna say I'm gonna say that after a minute they get super thick. to get a point on that sucker let's try this let's try this little tiny brush maybe that'll be better Well, I think that's all I'm going to do for this. So I guess, in a pinch, if you had no money, dollar store painting 99 cent store and dollar tree art supplies painting thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and like and leave a comment and tell me what you'd like to see in the future peace and love to you